Don't you ever fucking knock! Oh. Good work, Sanchez. Yeah. What is he? Is he a cop? Is he a PI or something? Well, fuck me gently. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? That ain't no fucking private eye! That's a fucking ghost! That, that's a myth! That, that's a fucking hitman! Hitman? Oh, shit! Oh. What the fuck are you talking about? This fucking changes everything! This is... this changes everything! <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do with him? Knock, knock, knock! Housekeeping! Hello. Peter. Hello. Yeah, we got us a little mess in here. Why don't you come on in oh, and clean it up? You. Yeah, that'd be good. Clean now? Sure, come on okay. in, darling. Atta girl. Oh my god, these don't! Oh god! You fucking animal! <laughs> now that's what I call a sweet slice. You know, nothing would give me more pleasure than to kill you right here and now. Me kill the legendary hitman? Yeah, but uh, I don't need that kind of attention. So, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. You've done a bad, bad thing. <laughs> well, now they won't be looking for a killer, will they? Huh? Killer. <laughs> Yee! I tell you, I don't ordinarily yeehaw, but this is a fucking yeehaw! Fucking Christmas! Here, take a slash. Nah. One second thought. Tinkle, tinkle, little jar. Wait, could you please not do that? This is a bad plan. Put a giddy up in your step. <laughs> Adios. What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode four of Hitman Absolution. This is the mission Run for Your Life, and we are on purest difficulty. My name is Bruce Kerr, and I'm on Xbox Live. Now, if you saw the initial trailer that they released before this game came out, you've seen some of this mission, but on a much lower difficulty with fewer enemies. So, <clears throat> you're going to see. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna see me run through this on Purist, and what we gotta do right now is high break it. Now on Purist, you really don't get much out of using your instinct, but it does help you see stuff through the fog. So, we're gonna wait for this guy to turn around. Also, I have to, um, upload this video in two parts because of some stupid restrictions that YouTube put on my channel. So now I can no longer do large videos. Anyway, once this guy turns around, I'm going to follow him over here. And when he turns back around, you are going to follow him. Stay to the right. I'm not sure these two guys go by. Something I did not do that I had to go back and shoot separately is you have to take one of these two distraction items with you. I was carrying a knife, there's a wrench there. But uh, when the timing is good here, and if you're going to go back, 
the whole thing. I have to make sure we still have the time lined up. But when this guy's standing in here by himself, you just throw that to distract him. While you're waiting for him to turn around, it'd be a good time to go back to the knife. And then zip on through. Also, I will not be having an accurate score at the end of the video because since I forgot to do that there, I went back and replayed it to get it. I got spotted and didn't feel like we got it. So, I'm going to head for this door here into the next part, which if you haven't played it, but you've at least seen the demo, you'll recognize this next part. Everything clear. All right, so this is where I went back and replayed it to get pick up the knife. And so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna sneak over here. I've heard some people really, really compare this to Splinter Cell. I had never played a lot of Splinter Cell, so I don't know. If it is similar to Splinter Cell, then perhaps Io's been dropping the ball on these games, but as far as hit and games go, this is definitely by far the most advanced of the series. As it should be for the fifth installment and six years after the previous. It took them six years to get this get around to doing this game. So anyway, when those guys walk off, sneak behind them, take the stairwell up here to the left. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And they just kept postponing it, postponing it. I don't know why. But I'm glad that it turned out as good as it did. I know people were begging for a new one when Blood Money came out. And they were doing Cannon Lynch, and then Cannon Lynch 2, and then like the 750th Tomb Raider game. I thought she died once. Yeah, Tomb Raider Revel Revelation. She died. Stupid. Anyway, so while these two guys are talking, sneak past this dude here. And quickly jump up here to avoid being seen by the guy that's going to pass underneath. Once he does pass underneath, just make sure the guy you just walked past isn't looking this way. It'll be good to jump down and uh, proceed. Okay, so we're good. Stick over here so you're not seen on your way down. Pop over here. Ooh, yeah. Alright, sneak through here, wait for this guy on the other side of this wall. And we're going to proceed upstairs. Get on with your bad self, get your aviator sunglasses, in a dark ass library in the middle of the night. <laughs> Be careful when you're coming up here and make sure that that guy doesn't spot you. Now, you may notice if you've played this on a lower difficulty that uh, one of these things just doesn't belong here. They uh, placed an extra card right by the door that doesn't move. So the object is to properly time it so that none of the other guards are paying attention. You can throw this and distract him. But I was a dummy and threw it at the wrong time, so I'm screwed. Unless I get really lucky right now. Chicago police, please come forward. Don't worry Shit. about it. Someone had some fun and now it's over. Eh, All right. As soon as that guy turns around, this guy's not looking. Let's just do it. Woohoo! Ooh, mama.
Oh, mama. Man, I'm pretty. <laughs> so, what's it going, guys? <laughs> so, anyway, you're good to go. Now, if you had been spotted back there, this next part would slightly vary. There, you would get an extra cutscene depending on whether or not you were seen. Uh, since I wasn't seen, we won't be getting that extra cutscene. Thankfully, because it's bad news. Bad company to the dear dear. So yeah, normally at this point, you would see a helicopter chasing you, and there'd be an extra cutscene when you jump down here where it closes in on you. But uh, I wasn't seen, and I don't plan on being seen. So I'm gonna run really quick in here before the helicopter actually does see us. Because believe me, this part's bad. That helicopter is not going to kill you with the clicking sound here. It's the, the, the I don't even think he actually shoots you. I think he just looks at you with his death eyes and you fall over. Sneaky, sneaky, sir. And blam. So, yeah. Now, for this next part, you want to have a little bit more sense of urgency than I did just there. I'll take a cover. Don't actually, like, run, because that'll be bad, but sneak over here a little bit quicker than I did. Once this guy passes, scale the cover, make your way out here, stick to the left side to avoid being seen. Once you're here, whoa, mama! Don't do that. Just wait for uh, an opportune moment when these guys all have their backs turned and back in the hotel. that chopper isn't looking, and then you go. I'm surprised I missed Cherry this time around. This is like my third time editing this video. I had to split it, and I already had the uh, final render made. Didn't have a uh, backup copy of this file, so I have to re-edit it and re-render it. Yay! So, anyway, now you're gonna make your way up here to the door and get ready for part two. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.